Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. I know the scenario. You're sitting around the table, people are talking about the stock market and this and that, and talking about futures trading and how blah, blah, blah. And you're like, what? what? What's futures trading? That's the topic today on the College Investor Audio Show. Thanks for stopping by and being with us. Okay, so the futures market is transacted through contracts. It allows those trading futures contracts to take advantage of price movements in the underlying commodity or financial product. Companies can also utilize futures to protect against price drops in their product. Hmm. To see how this works, we'll use the example of a company that produces perishable goods. Let's call them Corn Cob Inc., or CCI for short. CCI uses the future market to guard against a drop in the price of its corn. This is called a hedge. Rather than buying a futures contract worth CCI's entire corn yield, it will buy enough contracts to hedge one quarter or one half of the total yield. If corn prices fell when it's time to sell corn in the market, one half of the company's corn is protected through its futures contracts, while some of its corn must be sold at lower prices. CCI's potential losses are reduced. Nice! A buyer of CCI's corn may sell futures contracts to lock in a lower price. This protects the buyer from the potential of corn prices increasing. Futures contracts can be traded on almost anything. This includes many livestock commodities such as cattle and pork bellies, stock indexes such as the S&P 500, other commodities such as crude oil, natural gas, corn, and wheat, and precious metals such as gold and silver. I can't stop thinking about bacon ever since I just said pork bellies. Is that you? Is your mouth watering now like mine? Anyway, the m and is a very popular futures contract. It is based on the S&P 500 cash index. The m and was created by the CME Group in 1999. In 2019, the CME Group created the micro m and which is targeted at smaller retail traders. Pure speculation versus hedging. There are two main types of futures traders. Pure speculators and hedgers. Pure speculators trade the contract just for its price movements. They have no desire to take delivery. Hedgers, also a form of speculation, may take delivery of the physical product. Hedgers are the real companies dealing with the underlying physical product, like CCI, from our earlier example. Delivery of the contract means that once the futures contract expires, you must take delivery of the underlying product if you're trading cattle futures and allow the contract to expire, expect a truckload full of cows to show up in your driveway. E. <laughs> For futures contracts that are based on an underlying financial product, such as a stock index, delivery comes in the form of a cash settlement. Futures leverage. So to trade futures, you must have a margin account. Margin allows you to trade with higher leverage. Here's an example. You buy one m and contract S&P 500 index. Its value is $150,000, but your account is only twenty five dollars Yet, you are able to buy the contract. But how? The answer is leverage. You didn't have to put up the entire $150,000. In fact, you only need to put up $7,500. After buying the contract, your available account cash is $17,500. Your margin on the contract is 5%. This means that you control $150,000 through leverage, roughly 20 times leverage. Now, what the heck does that mean exactly? To understand the power of such high leverage, we need to understand a little more about the m &I contract. Each point in the m &I is worth 50 bucks, and each tick is worth $12.50. A tick is equal to 0.25 points and is the smallest an m and contract can move. If the current price of the S&P 500 futures is 3000 that means one point in the m and controls 50 bucks times 3000 equals $150,000.
Let's say you buy one contract with the M&I at $3,000. It then goes to $3,020. You just made $1,000. But what happens if it drops to $2,980 all of a sudden? In that case, you'll have a loss of 20 times $50 equals $1,000. Now, you can see leverage can work for and against you. If your contract continues to fall, it will eat more margin, decreasing the value of your account. You'll see available cash fall from $17,500 to $15,000 and continue decreasing as the market falls. Ah! Eventually, if your account reaches zero, you'll get a margin call. This means the broker requires you to cover the loss or they'll close out your contract. Contract expirations. When you trade futures contracts, you have to choose which contract to trade. Going back to the M&I, it has four quarterly contracts, March, June, September, December. If you're trading the March contract, you'll need to close it out or roll into the June contract once March expiration date approaches. When you go from the March to June contract so that you maintain the position, you are rolling the contract. How do you know when to roll? by watching the volume of your contract and proximity to expiration. You can tell when it is time to roll. Now, for example, volume on the March contract will begin falling while volume on the June contract begins increasing. Before liquidity, volume, begins drying up, you'll want to roll into the June contract. Futures trading can be risky, woof, because of the high amount of leverage being used. Those trading futures monitor how much leverage they're using and are careful not to over leverage their account, which can result in a margin call. We don't like margin calls. Hey, that's all for our show today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope it was helpful. If you think this could be helpful for somebody else, maybe you were in the middle of a conversation about this kind of thing, please go ahead and share it. We would greatly appreciate it. You can also stop by the website, thecollegeinvestor.com for all kinds of juicy tips and tricks and just how to play this futures trading game if you're interested. Again, it's thecollegeinvestor.com. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you again very soon.